where sine goes through the axis, cosine is its minimum. So if theta is almost zero, what is cosine? Dr. Jake was just been one of my favorite by far, just because of the heart she has um, for her students and how she's willing to care for you. You're not just a student attached to a grade, you're an individual and she wants to help you grow. As she invested more in and outside of the classroom, I could definitely tell that I was investing more into the class, into the study material, and this way uh, really helped me just better myself as a person. Born and raised in Denmark, and uh, grew up in a small town in Denmark called Odense, which is where Hans Christian Andersen is from. It's uh, the oldest town in Denmark. It goes back a thousand years. I went to college at the Technical University of Denmark in Copenhagen. And then I went to graduate school at the University of Arizona. Uh, got my PhD in theoretical nuclear structure. She is, is really amazing at being able to both strike that line of being a successful, impactful female scientist, as well as this underlying um, integration of faith and biblical perspective that is so often lacking in her field. So I come from a long string of teachers all the way back to my great-grandfather on my father's side. My father's parents are teachers, both my parents were teachers. My daughter is also teaching at University of California, Santa Barbara. I really just want to reach out and show them that science can be fascinating. God created all of this, and so when we're looking at it, we're looking at God's design, one way or the other. Science is basically reading God's book of nature, in the next five or six years, I'll be in med school, which is the, the dream, the goal. And she has helped me immensely with the work it takes to get there, but also that it is achievable if I set high standards and, and set goals and do what it takes to reach those goals. I look forward to Jacob's class every day, honestly. I'm super motivated. I love to cook, and I love to cook healthy food. I like to knit. I like biking and hiking, so I like being in the outdoors. I read. Uh, a lot of books. I love books. I love traveling. I've visited almost every place in Europe. I've been to Australia. I've been all over the United States and I love visiting my kids and they're all in different states now. And then finally, I love my church. I love that contemplative space, the very quiet liturgy. I know that students fear my classes because I'm pretty rigorous and I ask a lot, but I also hope that my lectures have given them a safe space to test things out and that they realize that I'm not judging them or loving them based on whether they're A students or in their imperfection and sin as we all have. They are created in the image of God and that I want to connect with them, that I'm interested in what they're doing. And so my hope is that they will remember me, God willing, as someone who loved them as the next person that God put in my path.